Hello and welcome back to 8-Bit. Today I'm going to have a look at the uh, brand new ZX Next core on the Mr. FPGA. Um, this is uh, very interesting actually because uh, this is another way to explore uh, the uh, ZX Next without having to purchase the actual computer. I know it's really hard to get one if you did miss out on the uh, uh, Kickstarter campaigns. Um, and the other way is obviously if you pay extraordinary prices for uh, uh, a Next on eBay. Uh, but if you have got a Mr. FPGA system, um, you can access the uh, ZX Next at your leisure. Um, I will talk through, I'll do, I'll do a quick demo of the uh, core and I'll, I'll give you a quick example of how to uh, set it up as well on your uh, uh, Mister. If you're not familiar with the uh, Mister FPGA, uh, then this probably isn't uh, the uh, video to be watching. You need to go back and have a look at uh, exploration into the uh, Mister itself. And then when you are ready to uh, uh, play some of the cores on it, uh, have a look at the ZX next, you can come back to this one. Anyway, first of all, I'm going to bring up the uh, web page actually that you can download the core from. Okay. As you can see, this is the page you come on to on the uh, main Mr. Information website. Uh, you do need to go into the release folder. And that way you will see two files that you need to download. You These are the only two files you will actually need. Okay, so you download them both. The uh, ZX Next RBF file needs to be placed inside your computer directory on your memory card um, just as you do with uh, all the other cores uh, that you, you download. Uh, the boot zip file uh, needs to be placed inside a new inside your games folder so what you do is create a folder in your games folder uh, call this ZX Next uh, capitalizing on the ZX and the letter N as you see um, in the title here and then lowercase ext. So you create that folder on the computer and, and, then, and then obviously place your boot zip folder file into that uh, folder. Uh, once you've done that, it's probably wise to um, run the update or script as well on your computer. There's no, there's no harm in doing it just to make sure everything is all up to date uh, for yourselves. Okay. Let's go back to my system. Now, I haven't had a chance to really explore this properly myself yet, so we'll have a try and make sure it all works and run it. I am actually still waiting for my ZX Next to arrive. I am part of the Kickstart 2 uh, campaign, fortunately, but uh, it could be a long wait before I get mine. Uh, so I've never really had the chance to explore this properly myself. Okay, and that's the uh, welcome screen that you see. So you can press space to continue. And very similar to uh, the other spectrums, you do have the, uh, uh, the, the menu bars as well. So you've got the user browser, which is the way you access all, all the games on your SD card. You've got a command line. You've got your ne next basic, so you can have a go at programming your own programs if you want. Obviously, the traditional calculator. Uh, we've also got tape loader as well, and a way to taste your tapes, so ways to import your games from your old cassettes. And also you've got uh, the 48K basic as well. Okay. And also at the top, you can change the speed uh, of the program. So if you do want to speed your game up, you can change the uh, speed of your next operating system. Also, I believe you press F11. Um, you, this is where you 
you, you know, if you press F11 during a game, you can go into this and create a snapshot so you can save a game state. Um, you can also create and save screenshots as well. Okay. Um, this is where you could probably enter pokes for your um, <laughs> infinite lives on Manic Miner if you wanted to. Um, there's several different things you can do exactly where you, what you used to be able to do with the uh, ZX Spectrum or plus two or the plus three. Okay, let's go into the browser. We've got very, let's have a quick, quick look at the demos. What's the songs folder? Let's run that. We've got some more tunes. Okay, let's disable the welcome message. Okay, go back into browser. Let's have a look at games. In the games folder, you've got the classic 100, uh, 1 to 8K games, uh, the classic 48 games uh, that you used to play. We've also got ZX81 games we can look at as well, and the next category as well, which is uh, we've been very fortunate to have brand new games written for the uh, next to uh, really make the most of its uh, limitations. Let's have a look at a couple of them. Night Night. Let's see. Let's have a look at that. I've seen this one played on YouTube. I've never played it myself. Um, let's see what happens. It's a demo. Let's have a look. You've got to turn all the blocks into your colour. Oh, there's a time limit as well.
Oh, I like this game. Okay. I don't think I can jump that bit. Oh, he's shooting at me. Let's try another one. Let's try Warhawk. I believe this uh, is a, a, a shoot em up. Two thousand and nineteen Rusty Pixels production. Oh, sounds good. Oh. I'm sorry if uh, the microphone's picking up my clicks on my joystick. It's quite an active, it's quite a, a busy game. This is one, I suppose, you've got to learn the patterns of the game. It's a fast. Very good. Let's try another one. Lords of Midnight, that's a really cracking game on the Netflix uh, Next. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic compared to the original title, but I never could quite get into that game back then. Let's have a look at Orb. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with this one. Let's, let's tell you what we'll do. We'll go back and we'll look at 
some of the games. On the original 48k. Let's try one to eight mode, see what it does. You get on to the next bit. Here we go. I need to practice this game, I think. Anyway, that's just a quick uh, demonstration of the uh, set spectrum next on the Mr. FPGA. Um, I hope you like that demonstration. If uh, you do want to give it a try, you do have a Mr. yourself, uh, go and get it downloaded and uh, uh, give it a go. It certainly works out cheaper than uh, uh, <laughs> buying uh, 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 you know, ZX Next on eBay if you did miss out on the uh, original kickstarts. But anyway, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed that. and. Uh, I'll see you all again very soon.